next speaker is Baha'i International Community. And on the 2nd of January, a judge in Sana'a, Yemen, sentenced the Baha'i, Mr. Hamid Ben Haidara, to death. Arrested in 2013, he has been held in prison for over four years under the most terrible of conditions imaginable in a country ravaged by conflict, illnesses, and famine. For months on end, he was severely tortured and electrocuted. And finally, after prolonged court proceedings marked by a lack of due process, Mr. Ben Haidara was tried in absentia, convicted, and condemned to death on the pretext that he had been in communication with the Universal House of Justice, the highest governing body of the Baha'is, which is located in Israel. In the sentence, a copy of which has yet to be delivered to Mr. Ben Haidara and his lawyers, the judge also ordered that all Baha'i assemblies in Yemen be dissolved. Mr. President, one can justifiably ask, what relation does a case of so-called espionage have with the existence of a religious community's elected institutions if the accusations leveled against Hamad Ben Haidara were not intimately linked to his religious beliefs? In fact, the case of Mr. Ben Haidara is part of a systematic refusal by Houthis under the influence of Iranian authorities to allow members of this religious minority to freely practice their faith. Currently, six Baha'is are being arbitrarily imprisoned in Sana'a, with many others facing the threat of imminent arrest. In response to this wave of persecution, the international community must urge the Houthi authorities to seize their unjust treatment of the Baha'is, who despite the dire situation in their country, have refused to side with one group or another, and have instead endeavored to serve all Yemenis. I thank you, madam. I pass the floor to...